Welcome. Let's go over the basics of how to set up a wideband O2 sensor in Tuner Studio for your Megasquirt products. I see this question a lot. People get a, a Megasquirt system and a wideband and they want to make them talk to each other. And uh, sometimes there's a little bit of confusion on how to do that. So let's jump right into it. So the very first thing you need to do is connect your Megasquirt O2 wire, it's typically a pink wire that says O2 on it, or oxygen sensor. Connect that to the output, the zero to five volt output wire from your O2 sensor, your wideband. Uh, connect those together and make sure that they are physically connected. Also, it makes things a lot easier if the oxygen sensor gauge is grounded to the same location that the ECU is grounded to. So always make sure your like AEM UEGO kit, the grounding for that is grounded to the same location that your uh, mega squirt is grounded to. This will help significantly. All right, once you've done that, you might start to see the wideband sensor working when you turn on the car but it's not showing anything uh, in Tuner Studio in the air fuel ratio one. So what you need to do is go up here to the top to tools and then go down to unlock calibrations. You can't mess with the AFR calibration table unless you unlock it. It's just something that uh, the Tuner Studio does to prevent things from being altered after they're calibrated so you don't lose calibrations. So go in here, hit unlocked and hit burn okay just prevents accidental changes close that now go up to tools and you can see now these are not grayed out so what you can do is click on the afr table calibrate afr table and what this is going to do is let you choose a sensor so what's cool is they have a list of pretty much all of the common sensors available to you uh, you'll see a lot of the AEMs and uh, the Bollinger Motorsports, the Innovate, and things like that. Uh, typically, you're going to have an AEM or an Innovate, one of those, uh, whatever you prefer. But let's go with the AEM. So if you go to this Linear 30 series, uh, you'll see down here it has the 1 volt to 4 volt with the AFR uh, calibration. So basically you get a zero to five volt input from your AFR gauge and it just needs to know what each voltage equals. And since it's linear, it's just one to four gives you 9.7 when it's getting a one volt input and a 18.7 AFR when you're getting a four input. Now, if you have something that's custom that you don't have the exact calibration for, so say this doesn't match up to your wideband, it's not the exact model uh, of your AEM wideband or whatever brand it might be, you can go into custom linear and just click this and then it allows you to change the values uh, in the range down here. So if we open up our AEM wideband uh, documentation here, so you just go online, find the documentation for your sensor they will give you a table for the voltage and the AFR ratio. So at zero volts, you get 10O AFR on gasoline, and at 4.99, you get 19.98. So, so you go here, just set this to zero equals a 10O AFR, hit enter, and then 4.99 volts, gives you a 19.98. So you're just following the table they give you the instructions for your particular wideband. Whatever zero volts is at gasoline AFR and whatever five volts essentially is at on the gasoline scale. So you put those calibrations in and then you just hit right to controller. Right now I don't have the controller selected but that's all you do and then as soon as you hit right, hit close. And as long as that, as long as you have, uh, as long as you have that calibration selected in here, either linear or whatever your uh, wideband is, and you hit right to controller, 
then you should see this gauge start to move. It's by default, it's turned off and it has no uh, ability to see the input coming from the sensor. So once again, you have to go in, unlock it, calibrate it, and then when you're done, if you don't want to have anything change, you can relock it like that and uh, you should be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more con content like this, please consider subscribing. 97% of you that view this are not subscribed and I will keep making videos and try to grow the channel as much as I can. Thank you.